What will happen to the Green Bay Packers without Jordan Love? The team is at a crossroads after the injury to its star quarterback. While rumors indicated that the Packers could look to a veteran like Ryan Tannehill, new information suggests that this is not in the plans. However, without Love, responsibility falls on the hands of backups Malik Willis and Sean Clifford. Is the team ready to deal with this delicate phase? Let's explore this story in detail. Understand the current scenario and what the future holds for the Packers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Green Bay Packers news and analysis. Were you surprised to hear that the Packers aren't going after Ryan Tannehill? Many fans, including myself, expected the team to go after a veteran quarterback, especially after Jordan Love's injury. The idea of bringing in a player like Tannehill seemed to make sense. After all, he has started 151 games in his career. But apparently the team has other plans. As reported by NFL Network's Tom Pelissero, the Green Bay Packers are not interested in a veteran quarterback at this time. Contrary to rumors, the team appears content with its internal options, focusing on Malik Willis and Sean Clifford. And that begs the question, are these young talents up for the challenge? Why this decision? Are the Packers truly confident in their roster? Or have they simply not found the right opportunity? These are questions that come to mind for any fan concerned about the future of the season. Jordan Love's injury has cast a shadow of uncertainty over the Green Bay Packers. He, who was the team's big bet after the departure of Aaron Rodgers, now finds himself out for at least three weeks. The timing couldn't be more delicate, as the season has just started, and losing a star quarterback so early on could be devastating. Love injured his medial collateral ligament, MCL, in the first game of the game against the Philadelphia Eagles. This type of injury, although common in American football, is always a concern, as it can affect a player's mobility and confidence. And with the responsibility that Love had, the question that remains is, how will the team adjust? This is where the backups come into play. Malik Willis and Sean Clifford are ready to take the reins, but that raises questions about their level of preparation and experience. How will they handle the pressure? Malik Willis joined the Packers via trade in late August and is already in the spotlight. He has played 11 games for the Tennessee Titans, but is still seen as a developmental player. Now, he has the responsibility of temporarily replacing Jordan Love. As a commentator, it is exciting to follow the journey of a young player like Willis, but it is also undeniable that he has a challenge ahead of him. Packers head coach Matt LaFleur will have to quickly adjust the team's style of play to maximize Willis's abilities. It won't be an easy task. Pressure of playing at iconic Lambeau Field in front of a demanding crowd will certainly be a test of the young quarterback's life. But this is also a golden opportunity for Willis. If he can lead the team and get some wins, his name could become a permanent fixture on the roster. Could we be witnessing the birth of a new star for the Green Bay Packers? While Malik Willis is the center of attention, Sean Clifford plays a more low-key but equally important role. He was on the team as Jordan Love's backup last season and is now on the practice squad waiting for his chance. While Willis will be responsible for leading on the field, Clifford will be a key support behind the scenes. Clifford knows the Packers' system, and while he doesn't have much NFL experience, his familiarity with the team could be an important asset in helping the team stay stable. And in situations like this, every little detail counts. The question is, is Clifford ready to eventually be called into action? His experience in training could prove valuable, but only time will tell if he can translate that into results on the field. The decision not to pursue a veteran quarterback like Ryan Tannehill shows that the Packers have confidence in their young players. It may seem risky, but it also demonstrates a commitment to the development and future of the team. Malik Willis and Sean Clifford are young, full of potential, and have the opportunity to prove themselves. This approach may seem bold to some fans, but the Green Bay Packers have always been a team that values internal development. Franchise's recent history with quarterbacks like Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre shows that patience and planning can pay off in the long run. It remains to be seen whether this philosophy will be enough to meet the immediate challenges. With important games coming up, 
pressure will be on Willis and Clifford to keep the team competitive. No decision like this would be made without the trust in coach Matt LaFleur. A skilled tactician since taking over the Packers, LaFleur will now face one of the biggest challenges of his career, guiding a team without its starting quarterback. LaFleur has made it clear that he intends to adapt the game plan to Malik Willis's strength. This means we'll see a slightly different Green Bay Packers in the coming games. Creativity will be a crucial weapon to keep the team competitive. The expectation is that LaFleur will create plays that maximize Willis' athletic ability while protecting his potential weaknesses. But the big question is, will these changes be enough to keep the Packers in the running? The Green Bay Packers will face tough opponents in their next three games. Indianapolis Colts, Tennessee Titans, and Minnesota Vikings. They all have strong defenses, which means the Packers' offense will need to be at its best, even without Jordan Love. First challenge will be against the Colts next Sunday. With Willis leading the way, all eyes will be on the young quarterback's performance. This will be the first real test of his ability to lead the team. And with the time he's had to prepare, is he ready? The other two games, against the Titans and Vikings, also promise to be intense battles. For the Packers, every win will be crucial at this time without their star player. Can Willis and Clifford live up to expectations and keep the team on the winning track? With Ryan Tannehill still available on the market, many are wondering whether the Packers should have made a move to bring him in. Tannehill has experience and has proven himself as a starter, leading the Tennessee Titans to several solid campaigns. But the reality is that, so far, Green Bay team seems content to move on without him. Diana Rossini of The Athletic reported that the Packers had reached out to Tannehill's representatives. However, that report was quickly refuted by Tom Pelissero. The confusion between the reports only added to the speculation, but it's now clear that Tannehill is not in the team's plan. This makes us wonder, are the Packers missing a huge opportunity by not signing a veteran quarterback? Or are they right to trust their young talent? The Green Bay Packers season has already started with uncertainty. Jordan Love's injury and the decision not to pursue a veteran quarterback put the team in a delicate position. With tough games ahead, pressure on the players and coaching staff is enormous. But football is, by its very nature, unpredictable. And it's in those moments of doubt that teams often surprise. The Packers have a long history of resilience, and resilience, and this season may be no different. The faith in Willis and Clifford could pay off in unexpected ways. However, if things don't go as planned, will the team reconsider their options? Only time will tell. What does the future hold for the Green Bay Packers without Jordan Love? The team is relying on its young quarterbacks, Malik Willis and Sean Clifford, to hold down the fort while Love recovers. The absence of a signing like Ryan Tannehill shows that the team has a clear vision for the development of its players. Fans can only hope and follow each play closely, hoping that the team can maintain its competitiveness. The next game against the Colts will be decisive, and everyone will be watching to see how Willis performs.